Ahoy, pirates! Today we're setting sail toward the problem leak code 2179. Count good triplets in an array. Let's not waste any time and head straight to the question. You're given two arrays, nums1 and nums2. Both are permutations of numbers from 0 to n minus 1. Our goal is to count the number of triplets, three distinct elements, such that their order is strictly increasing in both arrays. At first glance, this feels like a straightforward comparison of positions. But the real challenge lies in doing this efficiently. Brute force? That's like fighting every Marine one by one. We need something smarter. Here's the plan. First, we map every value in NUMS2 to its position. Think of it like drawing a treasure map. You can't find the treasure if you don't know where to dig. So, for each value in NUMS1, we replace it with its index from NUMS2. This transforms NUMS1 into a new array where each number tells us where that value originally lived in NUMS2. Now both arrays speak the same language. The problem is now reduced to counting how many increasing triplets exist in this new transformed array. That's much easier than comparing two different maps at once. This brings us to the second part of the plan, the Fenwick tree, also known as a binary index tree. It sounds intense, but really it's just a clever tool for efficiently answering prefix sum queries. In our journey, that means keeping track of how many smaller elements we've seen so far and how many larger elements are yet to come. As we iterate through the transform nums1, each element becomes the center of a potential triplet. For every element, we ask two questions. First, how many elements before me are smaller? Second, how many elements after me are larger? The number of good triplets with this element in the middle is the product of those two counts. And just like that, we've turned our big voyage into three clean, manageable parts, mapping, prefix tracking, and smart counting. Now let's walk through a real example. This is like Luffy pulling out the map and pointing at each island with excitement. We're given nums1 equals 2013, nums2 equals 0123. Step 1. Make a position map from nums2. 0 is at index 0, 1 is at index 1, 2 is at index 2, 3 is at index 3. Now we replace each number in nums1 with its corresponding index from nums2. The result is 2013. In this case, NUMS1 doesn't change, but this step is important in general. Next, we look at all triplets in NUMS1 that follow increasing order and position. We try all combinations of indices i, j, and k, where i is less than j and j is less than k. That gives us four potential triplets. 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 3, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3. Now, we check which of these are also in increasing order in NUMS2. The triplet 2, 0, 1 has positions 2, 0, 1 in NUMS2. Not increasing. 2, 0, 3 has positions 2, 0, 3, not increasing. 2, 1, 3 has positions 2, 1, 3, not increasing. 0, 1, 3 has positions 0, 1, 3. This one is strictly increasing, so only one of these triplets is good. That's our answer, one good triplet. And our algorithm using the Fenwick tree would reach the same answer much faster. Now let's talk about why this solution is fast. Instead of checking all combinations manually, we use a data structure that helps us keep track of counts as we go. For every element, we only ask, how many smaller ones have I seen already? How many bigger ones are yet to come? Both of these can be answered in logarithmic time using a Fenwick tree. Since we process each element once and each operation takes logarithmic time, the total time complexity is big O of n log n. We also use space for storing the map and the tree, so the space complexity is big O of N. Efficient, smart, pirate approved. So while the problem might look like navigating through a storm, it becomes a guided voyage once you have the right tools, position maps and prefix sums. In the end, counting good triplets is not about brute force. It's about smart moves, reading the map, knowing where to sail and picking the right path. That's how you conquer coding seas like a straw hat. Now go claim your accepted flag, we set sail again soon.